Hey guys, welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. The Korg Wave Station is back. Today we're going to explore the 50 ROM preset sounds. Okay, I'm noticing there's a bit of a technique needed to play the wave station well. If you play too many notes at the same time, the arpeggios kind of go out of synchronization with each other. Let me, uh, let me demonstrate. This is, by the way, called the wave song. This is the first preset in the ROM bank. We have 50 presets to go through today, but I'm going to go through them quite rapidly and I'll skip over the ones that are a bit boring. Uh, but more of that later. Let's explore what's happening here. So we have, if I'm just going to play one note, a breathy pad and then some rhythmic sequence going on here as well. And you can hear the tempo is slightly changed there as we play a note right at the bottom. So as you play chords, these arps can clash with each other I noticed. Maybe you're not supposed to play so much when you're doing these patches, I guess. Nice! That was your, your typical wave station patch, I suppose. Let's carry on up through the presets. This one is called Deep Atmosphere. Beautiful. Very interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on there, I think you'll agree. Amazing! And by changing the position of the joystick here and, and manipulating the balance of the four patches or four parts that are playing at the same time, we can get completely different sounds, as you heard. That's beautiful. I love it in that position. We change it to a different position, get a completely different sound. That's amazing. I love it. Wow. That's warm. <laughs> Whoa, listen to that. I could probably pay this patch for an entire video. And I wouldn't get bored. Maybe you would. You probably would. That's incredible. Okay, we'll do a separate video where I play that patch for half an hour, but we need to press on. I don't want you guys to get bored. The next one is called Sting Waves. Very D50-ish, I think. I've noticed the joystick doesn't always do much to the patch. It didn't for the first one, it did for the second. I should mention I haven't listened to these sounds myself. We're doing it together for the very first time. I've been resisting the temptation to practice or rehearse or check out some of the patches. So we really are doing this together for the first time. You're getting my first impressions of this synthesizer. Probably I should have practiced a bit, but anyway, here we go. I've had it for about a week now, and this is the first opportunity I've had to play it. Right, now we have another patch called, is that Metropolitan, Heteropolitan? Hard to say. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, that's your typical MIDI stack, big, fat synthesizer sound. You heard it on the M1, you heard it on the D50, now we're hearing it here. I'm gonna skip through some of these patches quite quickly because I'm really looking for those wave station vector synthesis sounds that we discussed in the last video when we did the introduction and the presentation of this synthesizer. By the way, do you like my cans? I've got some new headphones here. I don't like the look. I think it's gonna give you some Cyberman flashbacks. Mini lead. Okay. Tack horns. Let's carry on. Some of these sounds are a little bit dated now. This synthesizer is, of course, nearly 30 years old. We have now here Guardians. The screen is a bit dim. I'm struggling to read it. Interesting. Let's explore this patch together. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Let's see what's happening at the top. I've noticed there's splits and layers, of course, going on here. Wasn't that beautiful? <laughs> that was incredible. Okay, swiftly on, number seven, digital res wave. We have another one here called Sandman. Interesting, interesting. Time traveler, this sounds promising. Oh, I love this kind of sound, I really do. Time traveler. I'm getting no aftertouch here. This keyboard is supposed to have aftertouch, perhaps it's not working. It sounds pretty nice without it. Oh, what a horrible chord. I thought if I played it long enough it might sound right, but it didn't. Let's try the vector joystick here. It doesn't have any effect. What does the mod wheel do? I don't know. You can hear how it's just slowly evolving. That's fabulous. I <laughs> love it. Interesting, when I change preset, the sound continues to play, but with some different effects. That's really nice. It doesn't abruptly, abruptly cut out. Song Bells is the next patch at number 10. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. In the beginning, I was thinking, wow, this is like the D50. But then it just gets better and better. It's a bit like 
the best of the D50 times 10. I mean, the D50 had a couple of real highlight standout patches that I loved, but a lot of dross, rubbishy filler stuff as well, I think. But some of the highlight patches were really, really nice. But this thing seems to start where the D50 left off. You take those highlight patches and just build on them. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this anyway. I, I hope you see what I'm trying to get at here. You hear those really lush reverbs as well? Beautiful. Let's carry on up. We have Analog Punch. Okay. Cosmic Zone. The synth really encourages you just to hold down a chord and see what happens. What I play on the keys doesn't really matter, it sounds good anyway. <laughs> Let's just play one note. You see what I mean? Awesome. Okay, uh, we're on another preset now, Super Clav. I'm not going to dwell on these bread and butter standard rompler sounds. I really want to identify the signature wave station vector synthesis sounds here. Toy box. Very pretty. Okay, carry on up. We have analog brass. Not very interesting to me. I'm sure that Korg throw in some of these bread and butter meat and potato sounds, some people say, just to make this more of a versatile keyboard. If you just filled it up with these lovely cinematic pads, then perhaps it would be a bit of a one-trick one trick keyboard. But they added drums and pianos and things in the EX version to make this a more versatile keyboard for the gigging musician, perhaps. Okay, we have one here I can't even pronounce. Modernesque. This is the kind of sound I'm looking for. <laughs> Joystick to good effect here. Wow. <laughs> you guys liking what you hear here? Okay, 17. Octave strings. Very orchestral, cinematic. Beautiful. We now have glass, tambu. Why am I playing just the white keys? Let me do something in B flat. on it ahead. Vector. This sounds promising. Let's have a listen. Yeah, interesting. Mm. 
another strange chord. Okay, this one's called Vector, however, the joystick doesn't do anything. We now have a Whisper Voices. Let's have a listen. Some choir sound, I'm guessing. Let's, let's see. Yeah. Not much animation going on here, but a very pretty sound, nevertheless. Oh, I'm playing the white keys again. Okay, very pretty. Uh, voices harp. Yeah, that's your voices harp. Uh, quarks in the black key. This sounds a little bit familiar to me. Have I heard this before somewhere? Yeah, very interesting. A vocalize. Yeah, another dainty choir sound. It's always hard knowing what to play and knowing what to say. I'm looking forward to making a track with these sounds. Big split at 24. Okay, here you have some, at the time, cutting edge electric piano sounds. It's quite pretty with a split. Oh, not bad. Touch brass. Fat, fat. Time piano. Here we go. We're getting into some of the bread and butter sounds that I was warning you about. We're not going to dwell on these. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't sound so good by today's standards. We have warm strings. How warm are these? Let's take a listen. Typical string sounds, chiffy kalimba. Yep, we have northern lights. This sounds like it might have some potential. Let's have a listen. Wow. Yeah, this is a D50 on steroids. And you know how much I love the D50. Some of these sounds are amazing. I could spend, well, I don't know, hours playing some of these, I'm sure. Bottled air. So all these kind of 
chiffy signs were all the rage in the late 80s. I can tell you, a rock stack. You see, when I try and play the black keys, it just sounds wrong. I should stick to the white ones. Excalibur. We're on patch 32, my lucky number. <laughs> Wave Tables. I think we're starting to get a feel for the character of this instrument now. Lots of these kind of sounds, aren't there? Okay, bells. Yeah, like it says on the tin. We now have the prophet horns. So I'm expecting some prophet five kind of analog, analog brass sounds here. Nothing wrong with that. Mahogany. Could be the intro to any early 90s ballad. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Okay, this one is called Round Wound. Some guitar patch, I'm guessing. Yep, bass perhaps. But we're not here to listen to bass sounds. We want the digi harp. Let's have a listen. Mm -hmm. Let's go on. We have now the motion mix. Yes, this is going to be good. Take a listen to this motion mix. Stereo waves. Well, that was interesting. We've only got a few to go. I'm at 41. So in this video, let's do the 50 ROM sounds. Then there are 50 RAM sounds in bank one and 50 RAM sounds in bank two, a total of 150. So we'll do 50 today. And if you want to join me again in another video, we'll do the other 50. Uh, this is 41 Streamer. Oh. something like that. <laughs> Maybe I should have rehearsed. Now, Paradise. And why did I get that Phil Collins song in my head? I need to get rid of that. So, oh, digital. 
little touch. 43. Voice and bell. Choirs and bells, perhaps. Let's take a listen. And why do we always start in A minor? Let's start in G minor. So, we're at number 49, which is station platform. There is no 50. I guess the number started at zero. We had a cut in the video there. What I didn't know was that my camera stopped recording after 30 minutes, so we did miss a few presets. Oh, interesting chord. So, we'll conclude the video with station platform. Thanks very much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the sounds of the wave station as much as I did. If you did, then consider subscribing so that you don't miss my demonstrations of the other 100 sounds on the wave station, if you can stomach any more, that is. Like the video if you liked it. And give some feedback in the comments. I read all of your comments and appreciate the feedback. This has been the Wave Station EX. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>